Hello everyone. Today we are getting an exclusive look at the Whiskey Bar in Johnny Walker Princess Street. How are you all? Hope you're all happy and healthy and well out there. Yep, today we have been invited back to Johnny Walker Princess Street to have a more in-depth look at their Whiskey Bar that you can go to visit. Now they've got two bars in here. They've got their 1820 bar, which is the one with the rooftop terrace which is open all day long, but they've also got a bothy bar which does tastings and it becomes a whiskey bar at night time. And they've said I can come along and go in and have a look. So let's do just that. Here we are inside Johnny Walker Princess Street and this is where we're going today, the Whiskey Explorers Bothy Bar. Now like I said they've got two bars here and they've got that one there which is the 1820 bar which is um, the rooftop terrace, I don't want to go in there's people eating and things in there, but it's got the rooftop terrace and you can have food and you can have drinks but this one here where we're going today is the one that we're really excited to have a look at so let's head in. So not only am I getting to have a nice exclusive look at the Whiskey Explorers Bothy here, I am joined by one of the senior um, experience ambassadors yeah. here yeah. at Johnny Walker Prince Street. This is Dan. Hi guys. Uh, Dan is going to talk us through what you would get if you do one of the Whiskey Bothy experiences here. So Dan, tell me all about it. Yeah. So basically, when you come up here, um, we host a kind of a classic sit-down whiskey tasting, um, where we go through single malts, a single grain, and also how it all comes together at the end uh, with a Johnny Walker blend as well. Now it's really cool because the single grain is completely exclusive to this particular tasting. You can't get it anywhere else in the world. Nice. which is really really cool I think. Um, so basically what we do is first three drums are from our four corners. Um, they are Kawila, um, so from the west coast of Scotland, really nice sweet peat smoke. Yeah. Um, then we have Kleinmish, so from the Highlands. It's on the north coast 500 and it's just been recently, re recently renovated as well. Um, it's absolutely stunning, um, lovely tropical flavors from that one and a rich waxiness which is quite unique to that particular whiskey. We've got Cardu, um, so Cardu from Speyside, amazing history behind that one as well but I won't go into too much detail today. And we also have the single grain, so the single grain is Portlandas and it is a ghost distillery. Um, what, what's a ghost distillery? So a ghost distillery is a distillery that it has been mothballed or shut down. All so, right, okay. Yeah. It's, um, so they're not making that one anymore. Not making that anyone uh, that one anymore. So once it's gone, it's gone. See, that's cool. That's cool. Yeah. Is this a tasting set up right now? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's it. Let's have um, a look. I mean, when you come up to the Bothy Bar, you first of all get this amazing view, um, looking into the north of Scotland, over towards the Kingdom of Fife. Um, now, as you can see, when you when you arrive, you've got a lovely, the whiskey's sitting out for you. You've got some water, you've got some water, of course, to add to the whiskey as well. Because as we might know, water is whiskey's friend. And if you have a little look around the actual Bothy itself, so you can see these amazing copies of the paintings. So these are paintings that are up in every single one of our distilleries from the four corners. Yeah, it is a really stuff. beautiful room. Can you tell me about this thing yeah. in the middle here? Again, I mean, you can see the amazing design. So on the top, we've got 
most of the whisk or all of the whiskey distilleries from within um, Diageo, which is the umbrella corporation that owns quite a few distilleries uh, within Scotland. So underneath there, we've got actually an amazing whiskey dispense system. This is um, beautiful. This is really lovely. It's stunning, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So we've got some really exclusive whiskies here as well. So again, if you really enjoyed that Port Dundas um, during the tasting, you can get a dram of that later on when the bar opens. And you get it from this. This is a dispenser. Exactly. Wow. Yeah. So there's a, there's a magic key that opens up so you can't touch it otherwise. So you need an actual key to open up, which is obviously kept behind lock and key. Ah. <laughs> See, they invite me in, but they won't let me play. That's that's just mean. Um, so, what are these other whiskies in here? So, these aren't whiskies that you do in the tasting. This is different, apart from the Port Dundas that you said. Yeah, yeah? but the um, rest of these are all different. Yeah, so these are all different. Um, so they're all different expressions and different whiskies uh, from within Johnny Walker um, and Diageo. So we've got a lovely Dufton, nineteen-year-old Dal Ewan, seventeen. And so this one is a lovely blend that's completely exclusive to us here. And we've got a Kawila nine-year-old as well. Very exclusive and they're all cask strength as well. So this, uh, that's stronger? It's stronger and it tends to also be a lot more exclusive because most whiskies tend to be bottled between, well, minimum of 40 up to usually about 48, give or take. Um, whereas cask strength is going to take you quite a bit higher than that. It is an incredible room. So the, the, the bothy experience, which you're telling me, which is the whiskey bothy tasting. Yes. Yeah. Um, that's 45 minutes? It is 45 minutes. Um, and you get those five drams. Yeah. And throughout um, the experience of Bastos or uh, and myself, we will talk you through the particular whiskies. We will basically do the first tasting with you as well. So we'll make sure that you know how to go through the tasting notes, uh, help you out a little bit, and then you can do the next ones yourself after that. But of course, we're gonna be there. Uh, we're gonna tell you more about the whiskey distilleries and some background information. So, the, so, well. but, so by that, with the first one, you thought you'd essentially teach us how to taste the whiskey? Exactly, yeah. Right, yeah, okay. That's it. See, did, I would just drink. But that's me. Uh, that's brilliant. Thank you so much. This is this is this is. Incredible. Oh, how much is it for the 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 bothy? It's thirty five pounds. Five whiskies, thirty five pounds. Plus, you get to spend time with one of these guys. How good is that? I mean, it's not just a whiskey tasting during the day. It's a whiskey bar at night time where you can come, and you can enjoy and sit and have a whiskey. And they're letting me do that as well. So let's go to future me tonight. And here we are now in the evening. The bar, as you can see, is getting set up for uh, for people to come and have a whiskey at night time. So if you are interested to head into the Bothy Bar, I mean, look at it. Why wouldn't you want to come here and sit and chill and have some... It, it, it's not even dark outside yet, and it's really starting to feel nice and atmospheric in here. Um, and that view, let's, let's have another look at that view. Look at that. Come here, look at that nice view. Over the fourth, I mean, you can imagine when that gets dark and it's lit up, that'd be lovely. And you can see the bridges over there as well. It's not raining. Anyway, um, so yeah, you can you can come here, you can chance downstairs, or you can go onto their website and book one of these booths and come and enjoy some whiskies. And behind the bar here, we have Lucinda. Hello, Lucinda. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, so, if you don't mind, I've got some whiskey questions. Um, these are these are going to be basic whiskey questions because I'm a basic kind of person. So, what is what's the oldest whiskey that you guys have here? Because they're not all just Johnny Walker whiskeys, are they? No, we do have quite a good range of whiskeys in here. So, anything beyond Johnny Walker as well, but as you can see, that's so that's most of the Johnny Walker blends uh, blends that you've got here. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so that's what we have from the body. I'll take you over to the cabinets. So that's where all the exciting fun stuff is. A couple of Port Allens we have. So we've got a 1979. Ellen. Um, Almost as old as me, that one. But as you can see, this is a, it's a good little treasure trove of goodies in here. From they are. The so what, what's the most expensive whiskey you have in here? That's actually the Port Ellen. Is it's it the Port Ellen again? Oh well, yeah, so that one is a... Uh, How much for a dram of that? Well, it's just a cheeky 800 pounds for a dram. Eight. Eight 
eight zero zero, eight hundred pounds for a dram of that. That's I mean, I, I, not knowing a massive amount about whiskey, that's incredible. Now, hopefully, it's something that speaks for itself. You see, if I'm going to call it sister bottle next to it, the forty year we. Uh Sell that for 650. All right, okay, so that's 650, that's 800. Oh, we've got quite a lot of whiskies, as you can see. Yeah, there is. I mean, this is an incredible. So, do you have a favourite? Oh, I do actually. Uh, my favourite doesn't sit in this this rather uh, pricey but delicious case. It is part of the Oven collection. So, we have a distiller's edition up there from 2019 and of course the 2021 is pretty delicious as well. I believe that is being served to someone as we speak so they're enjoying it which I'm happy about. Wow. That one is great. Like Oban I think it's a wonderful little distillery like kind of small and tucked away by the sea. They produce some great things. That's, that's it, it is a beautiful selection of whiskey and for anyone who does love whiskey it's nice to know that it's not just Johnny Walker whiskies. You could come here and choose from an incredible selection of whiskies. And I believe that I'm going to be lucky enough to get a little cocktail. Is that okay? You are, yes. You see now this is, this is when I really get to enjoy myself now. So for all of you out there as well, if you're not a big whiskey drinker, you can enjoy a whiskey cocktail because I have been learning, I have been learning, and whiskey was originally cocktail drinks, cocktail um, uh, alcohols. If you think about it, a, a hot toddy is a whiskey cocktail. A whiskey and soda is a, is a very basic whiskey cocktail, but let's go over and have a look and see what's happening over here. Today, I'm going to make you one of the uh, special cocktails I'm offering from the Bobby called the Smoky Giggle Juice. Smoky Giggle Juice? Yeah, so it contains a bit of our Johnny Walker Double Black. Nice. And also a little bit of uh, some other special ingredients from some local companies. So we've got Whiskey Amaro here, which is made by Sweet Dram. And it's just a nice little peppy part to the drink. So if anyone knows anything about Amaro, they'll know that not many rules behind it. The Italians love to, to make things just to mess with everyone around the world. <laughs> Scotland's got its own version. We have it here. We also have something called Elder, which is made by a company called Buck and Birch. And this is an Elderberry Elixir. Very, very delicious. Very, very kind of syrupy and just tasty little drink. We also make a Guinness syrup here. Of course we had to. Of course. So a, Guin a Guinness syrup? Yeah. So wow. Bit of Guinness, bit of sugar reduced down very slightly. And that just gives it a nice little multi warm edge. Lovely. So all the team, all the team here are brilliant, got an incredible whiskey knowledge. If you have any question, they're more than happy to sit down and say, yeah, let me tell you about this whiskey. Let me tell you about that whiskey. Let me make you, let me, and you want to know what, what, what I found incredible when we came here before is they'll get to know you a little bit, find out what sort of flavor you like, find out what sort of whiskey you like to try to point you in the direction of a whiskey that you'll enjoy. They'll not just say, you know what, there, there's, there's a standard bog standard whiskey because everyone's flavor is different. So they want to learn what will be good for you, what you'll enjoy the best. Last part, what actually adds to the story of the smoky giggle juice is some Lagavulin ice cream. So the idea of the body bar is that all our cocktails are part of a story uh, that involves Johnny Walker or the wider range of the Four Corners whiskies. So we make the ice cream in-house as well. It's a recipe. Really? Yep. Yeah. Recipe was created here. Oh wow, look at that. That's what I'm talking about. Look at that. That. Looks amazing. Thank you so, so much. That's all right. Would you like a spoon? I will. So, so it should, and, and again, forgive my naivety, should I mix the ice cream or is it have some ice cream, have some have some of the drink? Is there a... Try a bit of the ice cream, try a bit of the drink, mix them together and then see how you like it. So generally, enjoy it how you like it. Yeah. See that? Whiskey is all about how you want, when you want to drink it. You want to drink it with ice cream in it and I do, um, then why not? Try the ice cream first. Well, that's nice. 
I don't know why I'm sounding surprised, <laughs> but that's nice. I'm impressed that you make it in house as well. Yeah, all made on site. We use Lagavulin 16 as the Lagavulin. I was going to say, it's got a smoky taste to the ice cream. I've never had a smoky ice cream before. I'm getting, I've not even tried the whiskey. I'm getting excited about ice cream. Ice cream on my nose. Oh, that is lovely. That's beautiful. I'm going to take the ice cream off my nose. That is absolutely, absolutely delicious. Lucinda, thank you so, so much. Amazing. I cannot recommend this highly enough. That's beautiful. So if you fancy coming here to Johnny Walker Princess Street's Whiskey Bar, the Bothy Explorer Bar, you can check it on their website. You can book a table. Like I said, during the day, you could try one of their Bothy whiskey tasting experiences. And in the evening, you can come here, you can sit, relax in this incredible atmosphere and have yourselves a nice little table. Meet some of the team like Lucinda here who will happily tell you about all these incredible whiskies and more. And sit back and enjoy yourself. I hope you've enjoyed that. If you have, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Come join Blant, Clan Brunford. But till next time, bye humans.